Yeah, welcome back, students. Let's move on to the last part of your syllabus, that is redemption of debentures. Yeah, welcome back, students. Let's move on to the next uh, and the last part of your syllabus, that is redemption of debentures. Okay, so to proceed with. would just like to show one part to you. Just a minute. So we had already done, uh, we are done with section 80. Yeah, this was section 80. These were the probable sums that we are done with. Okay, yeah. So debenture is a debt instrument issued by the company under its common seal, acknowledging debt under its obligation. So debt means loan, right? Yeah. So debenture means loan capital, borrowed capital also. Debentures are issued by the company for minimum period of six months and maximum of five years. Redemption of debentures, it is same like uh, redemption of preferences, yeah. So you have to redeem your debentures, like how you redeem your preferences. Means repayment of debenture capital to whom to the debenture holders. Okay, mm -hmm. on at the time of on maturity. Okay, Deben uh, redemption can be done at par premium or at a discount. Okay, so here's uh, the what do you call it? the structure of how redemption is to be done. Okay. So redemption is of debenture is done out of capital, it is done out of profits, and it is done out of conversion. Okay. Yeah. So redemption out of capital, uh, debentures can be redeemed out of capital or out of profit. On redemption, debenture holders are paid out of cash back, thus reducing the working capital with the company. Okay. Redeem means to pay. Yeah. So first entry that you will pass will be entry for amount payable on redemption. This is at par ka entry and this is at premium ka entry. So debenture account debit to debenture holders and at premium debentures account debit premium on redemption debit to debenture holders. Okay, so this would be a, yeah, com, uh, yeah. So this will be the first entry, entry for amount payable on redemption so it could be at par or it could be at premium okay then entry for payment of debentures so debenture holders account debit to cash bank okay then redemption out of profits now when redemption is out of profit then in this case company regularly transfers adequate profits from the profits to a reserve account before redemption of debenture, okay? And this, like in preference shares, hum log kya open karte te CRR. We used to create CRR, right? Yeah, here we will create what? DRR, debenture redemption user. Okay, for preference share it is CRR, for debentures it is DRR, okay? Yeah, now what is this DRR, okay? As per the Companies Act 2013, company requires to transfer the amount at the least equal to 25% of the face value of the debentures to be redeemed. Then AIFIs and NBFCs are exempted from creating DRR. So we are not interested in this. So for us, the important highlight for solving some will be this. Ye wala at least 25% of the face value of the ventures to be redeemed. Ye bhoonla nahi. Okay? Yeah. So, jaisi company debenture lega, wo sabse pehle kya karega? It will require to transfer the amount. How much amount? 20, at least 25% of the 25% of the face value of the debentures to be redeemed. Or second point, aapko ye yaad rakna, at least 15% of the face value of debentures 
will be invested by the company in the form of DRR investments. Okay. So, if you don't have any question, then by default, you apply karne hai. Okay. Pehla kya? At least 25% of the face value of debentures to be redeemed. Okay. Company requires to transfer the amount of 25% of the face value of debentures to be redeemed and at least 15% of the face value of the debentures should be invested by the company in the form of DRR investment. Okay, so these two, uh, these two things are very, 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 very important. It should be used for redemption by debentures only. Obviously, DRR, uh, this fund DRR will be created only for the purpose of redemption of debentures. Okay. Then journal entries under transfer of profits from PNL account. So PNL to DRR. Then entry for investment at the rate 15% of face value of debentures to be redeemed. And you have told me that you have to follow these two things. One is 15% value or 25% value. So my entry is, yeah. Jaisi apne transfer kiya profits from PNL. To DRR, the next thing you're going to do is invest money of your debenture money, okay, into a debenture redemption investment fund. Okay, DRR investments. So, DRI, debenture redemption investment account debit to cash mm -hmm. fund. Then, interest on investments, bank account debit to interest. Then, investment sold, bank account debit to DRI. Okay, you can use these abbreviations, DRI. Here also, DRI. Then next is uh, debenture redemption. Okay, debenture to debenture holders and debenture holders to cash bank. So, pehle aapko due karna hai aur phir aapko pay karna hai. Simple. Okay, so these are the five default entries that you have to pass. Okay, yeah. Then balancing DRR, then you close the DRR ledger. If there is any balance, it will be transferred to general reserve account. Okay, so these are the five possible entries, journal entries under which method? I mean under uh, your redemption of debentures. Okay, ek to pehle DRI debenture, uh, sabse pehle PNL se reserve mein matlab utna part site kar do DRR ke liye. PNL में से उतना कम हो जाएगा तो PNL debit to DRR फिर जैसा law बोल रहा है मतलब companies act 2013 that 15% of the face value of debentures to be redeemed और और भी law कुछ बोल रहा है 25% of the face value of debentures to be redeemed okay then redemption by conversion now this is very important okay इसका एक theoretical aspect में बाद में भी cover करने वाली हूँ Okay, it means redeeming debentures by converting them into new class of shares or even debentures either wholly or partly. The new shares can be issued at par or at premium. Provision of trading DRR is not applicable in case of fully convertible debentures. Okay. So, what are you saying? If you are debentures ko redeem kar rahe ho by conversion method, so if you have 10% debenture, tha, अब उसको रिडीम करोगे तो टू कैश बैंक की जगह पे लिख दो टू मतलब ये कैसे रिडीम हुआ है 10% डिबेंचर्स की जगह सपोज मैंने इसको 12% डिबेंचर्स कर दिया रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट में बढ़ा दी ओके तो इट्स टॉकिंग अबाउट ऑल दैट सो दैट यू हैव टू मेक द रिक्वायर्ड चेंजेस ओके एंट्री फॉर अमाउंट ड्यू टू डिबेंचर होल्डर्स टू डिबेंचर अकाउंट डेबिट टू डिबेंचर होल्डर्स एंट्री फॉर कन्वर्जन बाय न्यू इशू एट पार Debenture holder account debit to equity share capital to preference share capital account to debentures. Okay. Ye sub convertible hai. Iske liye. Okay. So kya convert karna hai? Convert redemption by conversion matla. Aap apne debentures ko equity mein convert karo ya to preference mein convert karo ya to new debentures. Now, you must be thinking when already you have debentures, then why are you converting it into debentures? So, here I will change the class of debenture. Matlab, agar mera pehla uh, debenture 8% wala hai, 8% debenture. Ho sakta hai, mera new debenture 10% wala ho. Ya ho sakta hai ki kam ho, 7% wala ho. Okay, like this. 
Then entry for conversion by new issue at premium to debenture holder account debit to equity to preference to debentures and the securities premium account if it is issued at a premium. Okay. Then next entry for transfer that is uh, uh, your what do you call this? Yeah. Face value of debentures redeem in cash. My journal entry will be PNL to general reserve. Adjustment of securities premium. Securities premium account debit to premium, premium on redemption. Okay. Okay, so your the theoretical aspect is uh, completed. Okay. Uh, next lecture, I will come up with the application of this theory in the sums. Okay, till then, happy learning.